In the Colorado, the state constitution says, the right to divert water from a stream and put it to a beneficial use shall not be denied. What a beneficial use is, is certainly evolving, but conservancy districts were conceived to make sure that water was available for uses later in the year. They weren't built to control who's using water. Welcome to the insides of Stagecoach Dam. So this is it, 150 feet of water on the other side. What kind of pressure are we talking on the other side of that wall? Oh geez, uh, what's 150 times 62.4? We have 9,000 pounds roughly per square foot. You wouldn't be able to hold it back. This thing is built for a 12 foot wall of water to be coming over this parapet wall. There's a spectacular amount of hydrology and engineering. For example, we want certain dissolved oxygen at certain temperatures. And so Eddie has to be looking at that all the time and adjusting these gates. You can actually see here, when we were releasing for uh, the city of Steamboat Springs Tri-State for recreational, we had 30 coming in and 76 coming out. It got drier, 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 river got lower. And so we realized, okay, Yamp is gonna go on call. We gotta figure out how to get water in the river. So the city of Steamboat, Upper Yampa Water Conservancy District, Tri-State, all of us have been able to kind of come together. Locally in Colorado, while we're the wet spot in the Colorado River system, even here, we realize that there's dry years. Water conservancy districts were started in order to conserve the water that was all flowing away for use later in the year or for a dry year. Uh, fact of the matter is, is a wild river can often go dry in drought years. And that's why storage was conceived of and built in the first place. We live in a world of dry appropriation. There is certainly a history in the state of Colorado that there is competition for those resources. The big difference in the Yampa is that we are not over-appropriated. We have an opportunity to cooperate before over-appropriation occurs in this basin. There are many people at the table discussing the future of water in Northwest Colorado. Watch more episodes, ask your questions, and connect to organizations managing our water at yourwatertable.org.